this is the worst hospital with the worst doctors ever. How am I supposed to feel refreshed when I keep constantly getting bombarded with negativity from low lives like you? Well, you tell him that I better have a full case of Red Bulls and a room full of snacks by the time I get out of here. No, do not interrupt me. You know how I feel about that. And the room needs to be exactly 72 degrees. And if it's any hotter or any colder, I will personally fire every staff member in that hotel. How could you think this hospital is any good for me anyway? Sir, I'm gonna need you to lower your voice. There's other patients recovering here. Shh. So respectfully, I'm gonna have to ask you to get off the phone. Hold on, this dumb lady is talking to me. Give me a sec. Look, lady, I already asked you. I need 30 seconds to talk with my manager. Okay, I'm about to sign the biggest movie deal of my life. Okay, oh shh. Okay, well I'm gonna go check on my other patients and by the time I get back, please put your phone on silent, okay? Mm -hmm. Everyone deserves to get the care they, they need. Dumb lady's gone. Okay, look, I need you to hear me very clearly. Okay? I need everything to be perfect. I need my room to be exactly how I like it. Okay, I need to be 100% for this audition. We're gonna be rich after this. This is the biggest movie deal of my career. Yeah, no, you know that Porsche you said you always wanted? Yeah, I'll get you two of them. Okay, sir. Uh, I've given you plenty of time, so I'm gonna have you get off the phone now. Oh my gosh, the lady's back. Okay, I gotta go. All right, all right, cheers. Okay, I hung up the phone. Are you happy now? Gosh, so naggy all the time. We just want to make sure that we're considerate of all of our patients so that everyone can get the best healing and recovery that, that they deserve. Blah, blah, blah. You think that this hospital is something special. I'm in hospitals all the time for my cosmetic surgeries and I always get my own room. Shameful enough that you guys didn't have the capacity to be able to accommodate for my own special room request. Gosh, and now you won't even let me talk on the phone. Do you even know who I am? I do. You're uh, in those action movies, right? Oh, those action movies that grossed over a billion dollars worldwide? Yeah, that's me. Sean Robbins. International superstar. Okay, and I'm about to be in Hollywood and sign this huge deal. Okay, and you're gonna see me on billboards everywhere, so I don't need little doctors like you interrupting my business calls. Okay, well that sounds really great for you, sir, but we have to treat all patients the same here. Okay. So. I think you should get some rest because that ankle is not going to heal itself. Whatever. <sighs> Lady, come over here, please. Can I help you with something? Uh, yeah. I don't see any snacks anywhere. I thought you were supposed to have snacks for your patients. Yes, of course. I came by about an hour ago and you were sleeping and I didn't want to wake you, so... What kind of thinking is that? Are you purposefully trying to sabotage my well-being? I need to be 100% for this audition and if I don't have anything in my system, then what am I going to do? Is it that hard to tap me on the shoulder and ask snacks, anything you need? I'm so sorry, it won't happen again. What kind of training are they doing in this freaking hospital? So what will be? We have an assortment of snacks. I don't know, just go get me something sweet or something. Great, I'll be right back. So I was able to find you a donut. Yes. I hope you like it. Is it a glazed donut? I think it's chocolate. <coughs> oh my God, gosh. Lady, come back over here. What is this garbage? Is there something wrong? Uh, yeah, that donut was crap, okay? Come on, what are you trying to kill your patients? I am so sorry. If the donut's stale, perhaps I could get you something else, like no. some pretzels no, or- No, no, it's probably gonna be terrible too. Just give me the full menu and I'll order a meal from the cafeteria or something. I'm so sorry, sir, but we actually need to get a test before you can go home and it requires that you not have a full stomach. So I'm not gonna be able to give you a full meal. Are you kidding me? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. Go to the cafeteria and get me something to eat. I am hungry. And if you can't, then make me something yourself. Sir, like I already said, if you want to go home, then you're gonna have to just handle a snack. I won't be able to give you a full meal. <laughs> this is the worst hospital with the worst doctors ever. How am I supposed to feel refreshed when I keep constantly getting bombarded with negativity from low lives like you? Okay, I'm a movie star for a reason. I need to be treated like first class. If I don't eat soon, then there's no way I'm gonna be ready for the biggest movie audition of my life. 
Hey, yo, kid, listen, let me tell you something. This audition of yours, you don't have to worry about it anymore because it's canceled. Who is this boomer? This old man just happens to be the owner of the studio and also the executive producer of the very movie that you are now no longer auditioning for because it's canceled by me. Hold on a sec. Are you Robert Adams? Hello. Uh, sir, I, I, I was just kidding. Even the nurse knows that. I, I... Uh, it's a doctor. Yeah, she's a doctor. Doctor. I, I was just method acting. I was trying to find Forget the Forget it. I don't want to hear about it. There's no more audition. You know what? At my movie studio, we want our movie actors to be, you know, role models, right? Not just in the movies, but also in real life. And you, my friend, are definitely not a role model. You are kind of a jerk. So your audition, it's canceled. Ba-boom. Uh, come on. This is outrageous. I didn't want to be in your stupid movie anyway. That's pretty good, huh? <laughs> I'm very sorry about how he treated you over there. I, I heard the whole thing. And you really carried yourself with, uh, with grace and with uh, patience. Congratulations. Well, unfortunately, that's part of the job sometimes. Patience can be really rude. But thank you so much for sticking up for me. I really appreciate that. You are very welcome. You carried yourself there really good. And, you know, it's hard to find people like you with like kindness and compassion and all that stuff. Um, I have an idea. I need, it's not, a, it's not a big role or nothing, but I do need somebody in my next movie that, you know, it needs somebody like you. Somebody with kindness and compassion and a nice face like you got. So uh, here, take my business card. Look at that email. Send me an email. We'll set up a meeting and we'll talk about it. What do you think? Wow, me in the movies. I never would have thought about that, but that sounds really fun. Yeah, it will be pretty fun. And you know, maybe in a year from now, we'll be looking at your big face on a, on a big billboard somewhere, <laughs> huh? Hey, that sounds pretty good, huh? You touch me. Sounds pretty good, right, kid? Well, thank you so much. I'm excited. Thank you. 